I'm Coin, and this is Behind the Secrets. So, um, this story is definitely crazy, just like the rest of them. So, this story starts in high school. It was 10th grade. I remember one of my best friends, like this guy. Um, this is the guy that I feel like a lot of people liked. Um, just a little background on him. He was an athlete. He played multiple sports. Um, you know, a church boy. Just a real upstanding guy. A real upstanding guy. Yeah. So, um, you know, an easy person to have a crush on. So, at this point, my friend liked him. So, I was like, I'm the person. I'm going to hook you up. If you tell me you like somebody, I'm going to put you on or I'm at least try. So, I started inboxing him for her. Because um, we was all at school and it was just never a right time. So, I started messaging him on Facebook. So, through messaging him, it was like I was trying to put her on. But it just seemed like he was more concerned about being interested in what I had going on. So... You know, I kind of became interested because, I mean, he looked good. So, I'm a, I am was a very childish vain person. So, by him looking good, it's like, okay, I'm interested. Even though, as you remember, I was talking to Chris Sabian. But at this point, it wasn't nothing. With him, it wasn't. I assumed he was straight. So, it, I wasn't doing anything wrong. So, like I said, um, we would be texting. And I was just like, you know, I don't feel like he's interested in her. I felt like he was interested in me by the things that he were doing and saying. And true enough, I mean... He ended up being interested in me, but we'll get to that part. So, uh, I remember, like, we had the Ostiller versus Fisher basketball game going on. So, me and him had been talking. I was like, okay, are we going to link up after the game? You know, because at this point, I wanted us to link up, hang out, just see where things go. <laughs> so, he he had agreed. Um, so, before the game, it was like that week. Um... I had told her pretty much that I feel like he wasn't into her. Like, I feel like he was gay. Like, I told her straight up. Like, I feel like he gay. You know, I don't know, but that's how I feel. So, she pretty much discarded it. So, um, I had been talking to one of my friends about pretty much linking up with him. So, then my friend was on the baseball team. So, he went back to this other dude on the baseball team and told him for some reason. Because I guess he knew they were friends. So, he went back and told him. And then that dude from the baseball team went and confronted the dude that we're talking about who we're just going to call Brian. We're going to call him Brian. He went back and told Brian. Um, <laughs> so then at this point, Brian got confronted by him, the girl that likes him, who was my best friend. And another dude and another girl at Burger King. So when they confronted him, of course, then he, of course, came back to me. And he was just acting all weird and just acting like, you know, I had done something to him. Like I told him, um, you know, I didn't say nothing, even though I knew I had said something. So I was been a little messy because I shouldn't have said anything. But I was excited. Like, we were linking up, oh, you know, whatever. <laughs> so then after that, he kind of, like, fell back for me a lot. Um... And at that point, he was about to graduate. So, he ended up graduating. So, after he graduated, like, we stayed in touch. Like, Snapchatting, Instagram. And he was two years older than me. So, I ended up graduating two years later. So, throughout these two years, like, you know, it's just occasional, like, text here and there. But we're still keeping in touch. So, after I graduate and go to college, like, we still in touch. We still in touch. So, I'd be posting. I used to be posting, like, this football player who we're going to get into, but not today, that I was talking to. And it used to be on some no face, no case type stuff because they're in the same boat. They're both down low. So, you know, I wasn't posting his face. So, he used to always slide up on a football player. At this point, you know, he's still telling me he's straight. Like, yeah, I thought he expressed interest in me. But at this point, nothing has happened. So, you know, I'm just like, he always sliding up on this football player stuff. Like, he's clearly interested in me because why would he keep sliding up? So... It was spring break 2018. So at this point, it's six years later after, you know, we first started like dealing, like talking and texting back and forth. So, you know, I'm just like, like what's gonna happen on? So um, it was spring break and he hit me up and he was like, he wanted to come see me. And I was just like, you know, I was happy. So he was just like, is the football player gonna be mad? I'm just like, no, he's not even gonna know. So like, when are you coming? So I was trying to play it cool because you know, I'm like, okay, he's still straight in my head because at this point, there's no, nothing concrete technically that's going to make me be like, he's gay. So, 
I'm just like, at this point, we just two brothers hanging out. So he come, so he get there. I live in dorms, so you know, you got, we had a, I had a four bedroom, got the twin size bed, you got the living room. You know how dorms are set up. So I remember like he washed some clothes like in the laundry room and then I was like, okay, we gotta get sleeping arrangements together. Here's the sheets, the cover, the pillow, like you're gonna sleep on the couch. And then he was just like, no, I'm not sleeping on that couch. Um, I'm sleeping in the bed with you. <laughs> and I was just like, you're sleeping in the bed, oh, like we're sleeping in the bed together. So he was just like, yeah. So I was just like, what the, because I'm just like, bro, like I can't contain myself. Like I'm already shocked that he's here. And then, like, you want to sleep in the bed together? It's just, like, it's too much going on right now. I was, like, calling my friends because I just could not handle it. Like, I was literally about to, like, explode because it was just, like, what do I do? Like, do I be happy? Do I sleep in the bed with him? Do I not take the opportunity? It was just so much stuff going through my head. So, ended up, we slept in the bed together. So, I was never asleep, like, at no point because the excitement was just too much. So... I remember in the middle of the night, I felt something, you know, I felt something and it was, it was, it was a dick. Okay. Let's just go ahead and be adults. It was a dick. So then, um, you know, I was at this time, I still wasn't like some people know, like, okay, I got a lot more promiscuous over time. But at this time, I still wasn't like just freaky yet. So at this point, I'm just touching it. But then I started thinking, I was like, he's sleep, but he hard. I was like, so at this point, nothing like, you know, I can't do nothing because he's sleeping. I just don't feel like it would be I, like the first time shouldn't be like uh, me waking you up out of your sleep. Like we we're not role playing for the first time. Like we don't even. We don't even know each other like that yet. So, you know, like, we gotta have conversations, all of that. So, when we woke up, he had said, like, um, pretty much, I'm gonna get him blue balls. He was like, I should've got him off. He was just saying so much stuff. So then, um, you know, in the morning time, that was different, because now you done told me what you want. So now I know for a fact that you want what exactly what I think you want. So at that point, you know, yeah. Um, <laughs> so then after that, you know, he left and we stayed in communication. So he graduated that same year, like 2018. I graduated in 2019 the next year. So he graduated that year. Um, and when he, around the time he was about to graduate, he was had a trip planned to another country. Is it a country or a continent? It wasn't the US, it was outside of the US. So I'm gonna just say another country. Was it a country? Either way, he was going to another place, so all of that, he ended up going, and the whole time he was over there, I guess he was getting drunk, um, and he was just hitting me up, making me send him all of these news, all of these videos, doing crazy ass shit, just real devious, real devious, um, so then he came back, you know, we kept communicating, so he had left some stuff at my house, like, these, this stuff caused such a big ripple, like, he had left, um, a sweater, and what else did he leave? He left a sweater, some underwear, but apparently this was his favorite sweater. So he was pushing me so hard to give him this sweater back. And I wanted to keep it because it's just like, you know, you left it. This is like memorabilia because I'm just like, that moment for me was just so crazy because I waited so long. And it's just like, it just was, I just couldn't process it. I couldn't believe that it had actually like, he had came here, all of that. I just couldn't believe it. Like, I really couldn't. So, after that, uh, we kept getting told about the, the sweater. So, I eventually sent him the sweater back. So, it's this girl from high school, this bitch. I never liked this girl. But, um, basically, everybody thought they talked and went together. They never even kissed. And you'll probably know who she is. Whatever. So, um, I remember I always, I used to always talk shit about her to him. Because I just wanted him to know that I didn't like her. So that way, you know, he'll know, don't interact with her, don't do nothing because I do not like this girl. So if I see you doing it, I'm gonna have a problem. So fast forward, it's like going into the new year of that year. So we're going into 2019. So um, pretty much she had commented something under his Instagram post. 
I don't, I forgot what she said, but it was inappropriate. I didn't like it. I wasn't going for it. So you already know what I did. I replied to her comment. Then me and her started going at it. So, you know, if we're going at it on Instagram, I'm probably going to keep it on Instagram. So she couldn't do that. She had to go to Facebook running her mouth. So of course, if you take it to Facebook, I'm coming right behind you. Like, so then I took it to Facebook. So then we was going back and forth on Facebook and then of course, he found out that we were going back and forth on Facebook, and then he got mad because I had cussed him out when I was going back and forth with her. I was just like, why are you even coming back to her? Why are you even doing all of this? Like, you know, I don't like her, da da da, da. And I just had blocked him on Snap, and I just told him, help him like I'm done with you. Very impulsive, because I wasn't done, but in the moment, I was mad enough that I felt like I was done, but I wasn't, but whatever. <laughs> so then he was just like telling me on Instagram, because that's when he started messaging me. He was just like, you know, Pretty much he felt like I was being messy, like why am I arguing with her? And he was just like, you know, maybe this healthy, this relationship isn't healthy and we should just stop communicating all together. And I was just like, you know, that's not really what I wanted. But I mean, I could see where he was coming from. Definitely not a healthy relationship because for him to be down low, it's like, I can't be arguing and fussing with people about you because then they're going to know like what's going on. So, yes trying to see if I left out any details. Oh yeah, and we still communicate to this day. So yeah, that's pretty much that story. As always, I'm Wild Still Corn. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, just get at me, drop them below. Like the video, do not miss another video, hit the bell. Um, and yeah, just make sure you follow me. Make sure you tune in every Sunday for full episodes and just be checking all posts as I can.